hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create a video grid animation in vscc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create a video grid animation in vscc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported four different videos in the editor and they are placed one above the other as well as on different points in the timeline so the first video is placed at 0 seconds second video is placed at 1 second 500 millisecond third video is placed at 3 seconds and the fourth and final video is placed at 4 second 500 millisecond so after you arrange your videos in this manner what you need to do is double click on the first video which is present at the bottom and go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok so i added a fade in effect and the key thing to remember right here is the duration of this fade in effect the duration of this fade in effect is 500 milliseconds so keep that in mind and the next thing which we will do is we will place the cursor at 500 millisecond right when the fade in effect ends and right here we will add a zoom effect so go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok now currently the duration of this zoom effect is 13 seconds 700 millisecond so i would like to reduce it to just one second so let me just write 0 1.000 inside the duration option and press enter now look inside the zoom settings and you will find this levels option where currently the value is 100 so what you need to do is you need to write 100 semicolon 50 and then press enter perfect now look below and you will find these two options center x and center y so click on the extreme right of center x and select left and now click on the extreme right of center y and select top and so now if i just quickly play this video for you let's see what is happening on screen so here comes my video fading in and then it kind of zooms out to this particular position on the screen all right so let's place the cursor at one second 500 millisecond and now we will add a second zoom effect so go to video effects once again go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok now look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the values are 100 semicolon 50 so delete these values and simply write 50 five zero and then press enter and now look at these two options below once again center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x and select left and click on the extreme right of center y and select top perfect and so now if i just quickly play this thing for you here comes my video it kind of zooms into this particular position and it stays at that position right now it is not visible but in a moment couple of minutes later we will see that video present right here so what we need to do next is we simply need to repeat the process of what we did inside the first video so double click on the second video and we will simply repeat the process so go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now place the cursor at 500 millisecond go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok the duration of this zoom effect is 8 seconds 766 millisecond so decrease the duration to one second by writing 01.000 inside the duration option and press enter and now look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the value is 50 so what you need to do is you need to delete this value write 100 semicolon 50 and then press enter 
and now below you will find these two options center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x select right and then click on the extreme right of center y and select top perfect now place the cursor at 1 second 500 millisecond go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok now look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the values are 100 semicolon 50 so delete these values and write 50 and then press enter and now look below you will find these two options center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x select right and then click on the extreme right of center y and select top and so now if i just quickly play this video for you from the start you will see our video grid animation kind of taking shape perfect now let's continue double click on the third video and we will once again go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now place the cursor at 500 millisecond and then go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok now the duration of this zoom effect is 15 seconds 333 milliseconds so reduce it to one second by writing 01.000 inside the duration option and press enter and now look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the value is 50 percent so delete this value and write 100 semicolon 50 and then press enter now look below and you will find these two options center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x and select left and then click on the extreme right of center y and then select bottom perfect and now place the cursor at 1 second 500 millisecond and go to video effects once again go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the values are 100 semicolon 50 so delete these values and simply write 50 and then press enter and look below you will find these two options center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x and select left and then click on the extreme right of center y and select bottom perfect and so if i just quickly play this thing for you once again from the start so this is how my video grid animation is kind of taking shape perfect finally we will double click on our fourth and final video which is present right at the top and we will go to video effects once again go to transparency select fade in and then click on ok now place the cursor at 500 millisecond and um, go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok now currently the duration of this zoom effect is 5 second 66 milliseconds so reduce it to 1 second by writing 01.000 inside the duration option and press enter and now look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option currently the value is 50 percent so delete this value and write 100 semicolon 50 and then press enter and now look below you will find these two options center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x and select right then click on the extreme right of center y and select bottom perfect now place the cursor at 1 second 500 millisecond and go to video effects once again go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok look inside the zoom settings inside the levels option you will find the values 100 semicolon 50 so delete these values and simply write 50 and then press enter and below you will find these two options center x and center y click on the extreme right of center x select right and click on the extreme right of center y and select bottom perfect 
and so finally if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is my entire video grid animation here comes my first video here comes my second video here comes my third video and this is my full and final fourth video perfect perfect so this is how you can create a video grid animation in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching